Hey everyone, sorry to jump scare you with the voiceover, but as you can see from the thumbnail and title, I have another speed draw video for you today where I'll be creating human character designs from Animal Crossing villagers. I've made my fair share of AC Zizinkas over the years, and these first two are based on sketches that I did for a tips and tricks post that I'll link in the description if you want to check it out. It's been a hot minute since I've done any kind of commentary work, and I don't have an actual mic at the moment, which I'm sure you can tell, so feel free to mute this video if you don't want to hear the voiceover. I thought it might be interesting to have me walk you through some of my design decisions, but you can watch this like a plain old speed paint too. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. Up first is Ketchup the Duck. I just about always start with the face after sketching out the basic frame I'll be working on, and this is usually the easiest part to translate into a human from an Animal Crossing villager, who all have at least a few distinct facial features to work from. With Ketchup, I mimic the basic shape of her eyes with her signature eyelash. For her hair, I pretty much just went with whatever I thought looked cute here. As you'll see later on, when a character has little or no hair, I use different things to design around it, but for Ketchup, I wanted the focus to be more on the visor she's wearing. She doesn't have a ton of distinguishable features, so I thought this would be a fun way to represent her duck bill. As I described in this slide of my Zhijinka guidepost, I often use an Animal Crossing villager's main body color to determine their skin tone. With Ketchup, I definitely wanted red to be a significant color in her design, which is why I opted to use it for her hair and instead used the shape and color of her actual leaf-like hair as an emblem on her visor. The rest of the coloring process here is pretty simple, mostly just using the eyedropper tool on her official model.
Next up is one of my favorite underrated villagers, Soleil. I had her in New Leaf for a very long time and she was an absolute icon. I follow the same steps here as I did for Ketchup's face, including any major facial features such as her eyelashes and drawing her in her in-game clothing. This time around, I'm able to copy her original hairstyle directly, color and all, since it's so defined. I often give Jijinka's pigtails or buns to represent animal ears, but I decided to challenge myself a little this time. By flipping the shapes vertically and replacing the inner ear with negative space, I make hoop earrings, which I color in two halves like Soleil's actual ears. There are a lot of interesting ways to create the same effect instead of just drawing animal ears or horns on the humanized character, like hair bows, headbands, buns and pigtails, and hooded jackets. There's no wrong way to go about it, but I personally like my designs to feel more realistic if I can help it. To choose a complexion, I picked the bright orange of her fur and adjusted it to fall more into the natural range of human skin tones. Finally, we have another underrated villager who I had back in New Leaf, Miss Friga. Her official design is pretty simple, so mine will be as well. 
She gets partially lidded eyes to mimic the expression her model has, and I draw visible nostrils instead of my typical nose style to match her beak. One of my biggest tips for creating better zhizhinkas is to not be afraid to step outside of your typical art style to exaggerate or translate features of your base character. Even little changes like this can really help sell the likeness, and it's really fun to experiment and approach your art in a different way. The rest of the design and coloring process on this is fairly straightforward with such a clear map to work from like her hair and skin color, but I figured I'd touch on her hair a bit more here. It's pretty obvious where the bangs come from, but the rest is definitely the part I put the most thought into with this one. Being a penguin with no other visible hair on a round head shape, I went for a slicked back look to get the same smooth effect. That color carries down onto her arms and lower body, so I draw her with longer hair, even if you can't see all that much of it from the side they're going for with these pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a bit of a shorter one, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, or whatever in between, and I'll see you next time.